It was cool though, wasn't it? 62 degrees cool. It has been more than six months, 191 days since we have been that cool for a daytime high. Remember, our average high this time of year is 72. And you know, today felt more like something we'd see in November, not October. And here's your proof. Temperatures are still rather cool. Upper 50s and low 60s. Don't want you to mistake my verbiage here for complaints because, hey, about a week and a half ago, it was 90 in October. And that we were complaining about. But compared to where we were yesterday, remember a cold front moved through and it's responsible for a lot of our cooler weather. We're anywhere from 8 to 9 to 10 degrees cooler right now in Raleigh than we were last night at this time. 12 degrees cooler in Sanford than we were yesterday at five o'clock. So obviously the cold front worked and I've got another one coming on the seven day. But before we get there, let's get through tonight. Next few hours, obviously dry, just a few fair weather clouds out there. Temperatures falling quickly into the low 50s. Remember with dry air, low dew points, clear skies, longer nights, calm winds, all of that goes into the recipe to give us a chilly start tomorrow morning. It's going to be 40 degrees and for some of you that means upper 30s. That's about 5 to 10 degrees colder than it was this morning. So there's the cold front of our weather past continuing to push away from us way down there toward Florida. High pressure in behind it along with the northerly flow helping to bring us those cooler temperatures we just talked about. But there's another cold front coming. Let's talk about when that gets here. First, we got to wrap up the work and school week. It is Friday. That's always good news. And to make it better, it's going to be sunny. As we go throughout the day after a chilly start, you can see not really much cooking in the weather world. It will be warmer tomorrow. So despite a colder morning, it is going to be a warmer afternoon. As we get into Friday night, we'll start to add some clouds to the mix after a sunny day. And Saturday, we'll have some rain. We'll have clouds. And that's when our next cold front moves through. So it's not going to rain all day. And the rain that falls is not going to be significant, not heavy or flooding or severe or anything like that, just kind of pesky. As the clouds will stick around, there comes the front through a little more rain early in the afternoon. The front comes through toward the evening hours. We're drying out and clearing out by late Saturday night, but we get another blast of cold air. In fact, cold enough where for the first time this season, they could see some snowflakes in our mountains. That could be Saturday night, nothing here, way too soon for that. And then we're back to clear skies and chilly weather by Sunday. So your seven day forecast will be chilly tomorrow morning, then a little warmer during the day. We're gonna be near 70 on Saturday, but we'll do it with clouds and a rain chance of 60%. Then the cold front comes through, drops us into the 50s on Sunday, and then we'll kind of level out in the 60s most of next week. But guys, Monday morning, Many of us are also start in the upper 30s. So for those of you who have been wanting some fall-like weather, I went above and beyond on this one. It's